I heard you the first time. Open the door. Who is it? Mum? It could be anyone in that get-up. Mum! Take off the glasses. Oh. Too bright for you on my landing, or are you just trying to scare me into an early grave? When have you ever been scared? The point is, I've never allowed myself to be in a situation where I might be scared. I've never let myself get into a position of vulnerability. That's the trick. Trust no one. Not even your own daughter. What are you doing here? It's ten. You said eleven. Sorry, Mum. Sorry for arriving an hour early dressed like an assassin. Oh, don't worry about it, darling. It's not like I've got anything better to do. Just packing up fifty years of... We said ten. Soho isn't what it once was. No, I know that. It's not like the craze still send their henchmen out. Ronnie was a good boy and Reggie was misunderstood. Not even that many pimps or dealers working on the streets now. Who needs dirty magazine shops when everything's available online? You know an awful lot about sex, drugs and pornography for someone from Chiswick. I'm just saying. Time passes. Things change. Well, I wish they wouldn't. No, no, now's absolutely fine. I see. Well, hopefully Monday. No, not yet. She will. Yes, uh, our solicitor told us. Of course, absolutely, I will. Yes. Great. You too. Bye. Is there any tea left? Who was that? The estate agent? No. Then what was all that talk about Monday? It's when the developers need the keys. The who? The developers. Mm. Is there gin in here? We decided in the end. I didn't. Tom and I. After my money from the get-go, your husband. One bloody start-up after another. More like end-ups. We decided it was a better deal. Or fuck-ups. A better deal for you, financially, that they were offering us. They're buying up the whole building. They're going to turn it into luxury apartments. I thought we were going to sell it on to someone like me. Like me 50 years ago, I mean. Like, like a dancer, an actor, something like that. That's the sort of person needs to live here, not some posho in a luxury apartment. Wait. Someone like me. Me. I should stay here. We haven't signed yet. Mum, we've been through this. I am fine on my own. Fine for now. But what if you fall? What if you get stabbed in the eye by the plastic fork by some demented West London toddler? Golden Oaks is a five minute drive from us. We'll see so much more of you. I'm not going batty. But your memory... My memory's great. What time did I say I was coming this morning? This is where I live. This is my home. I'm staying. It's a war, you know, and I'm on the front line. Only a coward would just wave the white flag and fuck off to Big Oaks. How do I... wait. How do I look? Beautiful, Mum, as always. This hat is the reason you exist. Did you know that? Your father waited after the show one night. Oh, I'd noticed him before. You would, tall, those shoulders. But he'd never tried anything. But this night, it was a new show we were doing. And in one of the numbers, I had a solo wearing this hat. And he comes up to me afterwards and says, was that you in the hat? And I said, what's it to you? He said, how did you make a bloke's hat so appealing? And the next thing I knew, the longest we were ever apart was three days. That time when I had to go with you on that school trip. Where was it? Amsterdam. I'll never get those three days back now. Bloody Dutch.
You bought this hat in a charity shop a few weeks ago. Oh, don't be daft. You've been buying stuff, random stuff, hoarding. Well, I like things then. You used to, but, well, gradually. Ever since Dad died. Oh, come on, you know how I feel about unfinished sentences. You've changed. Everything changes, love. You said it yourself. What I mean is, you were never a showgirl, Mum. You were never a dancer in a cabaret. You've started remembering things that aren't... You've been making stuff up. We spoke to the doctors at Golden Oaks, and it's typical. I mean, symptomatic of... I know this is hard, Mum, but you need to trust me because you're no longer in a position to trust yourself. You need to let me decide what's best for you. You just want my flat to sell to the highest bidder. I'm your daughter. Which makes it even worse. Mum. I am not losing my marbles. Mum. Will you stop with the mums? What's my name? Oh, fuck off, you stupid cow. I know what your fucking name is. Then tell me. Why, have you forgotten? Well, maybe you're the one that needs to be locked up in a loony bin. Golden Oaks is not... If you say a... Mum or Golden Oaks one more time... What's my name? What's my name? If you're sure you're fine, then just tell me what my name is. Your father looked like Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly, but dangerous. Like he'd sooner pull a knife on you than dance with you. Am I right? Yes. What of the madness? It's not madness. What if it starts eating away at my real memories? Say it starts with your name. But then what if I can't see his face anymore? The home is set up with every medical opportunity to help you as much as possible. I haven't signed the papers yet, have I? I want to. Now. You don't want to call it madness, but seeing a room filled with ghosts from the past, not knowing which ones are true. Can I stay at yours tonight? Of course. The girls would love to see you. Chloe and Sonia. I'll just get my... I thought maybe curry tonight. Tom loves it and he's been so stressed with the new... I hate curry. Then we'll get something else. No, no, if Tom likes curry. We should get a move on. Traffic will be a killer otherwise.